All right, so the Clippers are in Miami tonight, which, uh, let's face it, has been the hardest place to win this Ooh, season in the NBA. Ball, the Heat are 20-1 and one at American Airlines Arena, the best home record in the league. So, Coach, you know this. You coach there. What makes the Heat so dominant at home? Well, it's a couple of things. One, they bring a, an incredible amount of energy, and they defend their butts off inside that building. They also have this great six man called South Beach. South Beach flu. And if you think about, if you even think about going across that bridge <laughs> and hanging out the night before, <laughs> midway through that third quarter, you go collapse. And they know it. And those guys just stay with it and they wear on you and they wear on you. Not only are they 20 and 1 at home, they ain't no in overtime. Scotty, you've played in that in that city. You've also uh, you, you also lived in that city at one point. You know what that city can do, like Fizz says, that six man. So good, though. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you know what? It's, it's about what the Miami Heat has on the basketball court. Absolutely. Yeah. They they have some players there that are dedicated mm -hmm. and willing to put it out on the line night in and night out. Uh, they're not built on a lot of sides, but they're able to own the paint. Yep. Uh, they get after the boards. They get after you on the defensive end. And they also got a guy by the name of Jimmy Butler. Oh, yeah. Who's helped to build that type of culture. The culture that Miami Heat has had over the last 20 years. Right. And that's coming there. You're going to work hard and you're going to play hard. And we'll deal with the results. And that's what we're seeing out of this Miami Heat team. Fizz, you know this because you coached there. You know that culture, as Scotty was pointing out. But Jimmy reminds me of like a backcourt version of Alonzo Mourning from a personality standpoint. Yep. Like that, that's what, that's, if I had to compare him personality-wise to someone, it would be Zoe. It keeps going back to what Scotty said earlier. Jimmy doesn't care about being light. Right. Right. He's not here for friends. Right. Jimmy wants to win, and that's the bottom line. He is there to, to, to compete with his teammates and put Miami in a, in a position to win a title. To your point, Ethan Skolnick, who has covered the Heat for a very long time, uh, he's now with Five Reasons Sports, the Five Reasons Sports Network, he did a story that came out today about Jimmy, and it was basically all his teammates talking mm -hmm. about Jimmy. We've heard a lot over the years about how teammates receive Jimmy. Udonis Haslam, the OG in so, Miami, said yeah. this uh, about Jimmy Butler, quote, everybody asks me about what happened with Jimmy and other places. Here's the deal. You put him in a cage with a bunch of cats, He's going to growl. You put him in a kennel <laughs> with a bunch of dogs, and he's going to be right at home. <laughs> oh, I like Mr. that. Mr. 305, I like that's that. my boy. You already I know like him. That. That's, hey, a, that's a that UD special. It. Like, is, it, you, it goes you along. Udonis has not told our team when we were all together with the big three, get four paws in because he wanted all dogs with him. Mm -hmm. And so for him to talk about Jimmy Butler like that makes total sense. And you don't, that's the stamp. Yeah, right. If, if Udonis Haslam gives you the stamp on toughness right. and being, being a dog, then you a dog. But I also think when you look at it, Scotty, it, it, it says a lot about what people view uh, about his other stops, right? Where maybe there were some guys there who were quote unquote in theory, maybe more entitled, right? Jimmy is a guy who had to work his way into the league. Yep, yep. He's had to grind for everything. And he's played with some guys who have been either number one overall picks or top five picks. And maybe some of those guys haven't felt necessarily like they had to work as hard. Yeah, and the thing what I love about Jimmy Butler is, as you said, he's had to work for everything. And if he see a player on his team that's not working as hard as he's working, right. it's not acceptable for right. Jimmy Butler. Right. Because he believes that as long as far as he's came to become who he is as a player, yeah. his team can come that far as well. And he lifts teams up like that. And in that Ethan Skolnick story, before we move on, there's a good story from Tyler Hero. Tyler Hero said, because we all know that people say, oh, Jimmy can't get along with young guys and rookies because of the other stops. But Tyler Hero said that he texts Jimmy right when he got drafted. He's like, hey, I'm the new rookie. And Jimmy's like, come to Chicago and come hang out with me. He stayed with Jimmy there, worked out there, and then... Jimmy's like, hey, I got to close on my house in Miami. Let's jump on a plane together and go there. They worked out together in Miami. He took him to a soccer game to watch Neymar when Barcelona was uh, doing an exhibition match in Miami. And he has cultivated a relationship with Tyler Hero. Well, I think he's always off the court. I don't ever think it's a problem. It's do you have the thick skin that it takes so when Jimmy Butler gets on you when you're not holding up your end of the bargain, can you take that? Right. And those other stops, those young guys couldn't handle it. The Heat DNA, they recruit, they look for guys that can handle that kind of, that kind of scrutiny. Yeah, Duncan Robinson in the story said to him, <laughs> he went under a screen on him. He goes, don't you ever go under a screen on me like that. And Jimmy's <laughs> like, I like you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN+.